Hi guys, Jan here. This 3D quick tip video will be about selections. It sounds like a basic topic. However, there are many, many options in my how to select objects or components. And I've even learned quite a few new tricks myself when I was preparing this video. So even though if you are intermediate or advanced user, follow through because you can find some new features which you're gonna like. Uh, let's start. There are two things to select, objects and components. Objects are way simpler, so let's start with these. You obviously know just dragging to select and holding control to deselect or control shift to add to selection or shift and drag to invert your selection. If you don't want to use the marquee, the rectangular marquee, you can switch it to lasso, which gives you a bit more precision when selecting. And there are a few tricks with the marquee selection. For example, if you drag the marquee and still hold the left key and press alt, you can move that rectangle to a different section. So if you, if I start to select something like a nose over here, but drag it to the spikes over there, it will select just the spikes. It's pretty handy when you want to select something really precisely, just drag and hold Alt, and you can move the selection. So that's just the basics of selecting objects. Then we have the different ways of a selection inside of an outliner, and that's with arrow keys. You can see that right now I have entire hierarchy selected, and with up and down, I will dive into that hierarchy. The last uh, object is actually sh shape over here. So that's why it's not visible in the outliner because shapes are hidden. But if I go up and down, you are jumping in the hierarchy, which is pretty useful when you, when you select like a teeth here and I want to select the parent. I just press an up arrow and I have parent selected. If I want to move not into the hierarchy, dive into the hierarchy, and I want to select the objects on the same level, I just use the left and right keys, and that will move in the same level of the hierarchy. If I want to select entire hierarchy, I just select the root and go to select and hierarchy. Pretty useful. And the last trick I will show you uh, about selecting objects in Maya is actually select by name, which is hidden in here. You have to type in either precise name, which you can see, let's say body 001 underscore geo, body underscore 001 geo, and it will select the body. However, you don't necessarily know the name all the time. And let's say I want to select everything called I. So what I will use instead of typing precisely the name, I will use the asterisk or star or a wildcard as it's called. And just type in I and close it with the wildcard. And it basically says just whatever is before, then there is an I and whatever is behind it. So when I select that object, it will select these two groups, even though they have a different prefix. Or I can select all the geos by typing wildcard underscore geo, and it will select all the geos, or wildcard, wildcard underscore grp, and it will select all the groups. This, this is very handy, actually. I use it all the time. I guess that's all for object selection and let's start with component selections. Selecting components is very similar to selecting objects, but there is way more options to do that. The first of all is selecting the object and right clicking and choosing whatever component you want. Well, let's go with faces. If you want to select faces on the other object also, like on the teeth or a tongue over here, you have to roll over that object and turn that into component mode too. However, if you want to turn that off, you have to right click, go to the object mode on each one of them, or click outside of the object and go to the object mode 
on all of them all together which is sometimes a bit confusing especially if you're on an enclosed area modeling somewhere like in in his mouth or whatever when it's hard to click outside of the object because of that there are shortcuts for component modes and these shortcuts are f9 for vertices f10 for edges f11 for faces f12 for uvs and f8 for going back into the object selection or turning the last component selection on these f keys are pretty far from where you standardly have your left hand because of that i i changed the hotkey to alt one two three four but it's up to you i use it quite often just select everything and press f9 for vertices and make your changes and then press f8 again and you're back into your object mode so that's the first tip the other trip is actually hidden in the tool settings when you double click the selection you have a tool settings in here or you can find them in the modeling toolkit pick marquee is the same in here camera based selection same in here um camera based selection very simple when you select vertices with the marquee like this you will select them on both sides of the model if you turn on the camera based selection you will select just what the camera sees directly i really like the drag mode which is not making any marquee it just paints the polygons on top one by one or you can paint the selection with a brush and you can change the brush size by holding b moving your mouse to sides i prefer using the drag because it's way more precise and there is one more feature quite hidden feature actually when you are in the marquee selection and let's say you select something with the marquee and when you hold tab you can edit that selection when you roll over your current selection it will deselect when you roll over the unselected mesh it will select just by holding the tab key it's pretty handy so once again it's just making as whatever selection holding tab key unselecting by rolling over a selection and selecting the objects all these settings are actually hidden in the marking menu so when you hold let me close this when you hold the q key and the left mouse button and go to select you have everything in here you can see that right now we are using the marquee when you switch it out it's the drag selection if we turn it on it's a marquee again so all these settings the lasso and everything is in the marking menu there is another handy marking menu connected with the selection and that is control or command on the mac and right click and that's for converting selections so right now we are in faces but what if we want to convert it to vertices so just move to the left and convert it to vertices this is a super super powerful menu for example for growing selections you just go to the upper corner select grow and it will start to grow if you grow want to grow more just press the g key and it will start to repeat that last command you just grow the selection so i i would recommend you to just browse this menu because there are so many options in there there are few options with the selections of the components which are a bit hidden once again like selecting edge loops if you want to select this entire edge loop you can select one edge go to this menu go to edge loop utilities and select the edge loop or you can just double click that edge and it will select the entire edge loop if you want to select edges like in between you can select the first one shift double click the other one and it will select edges in between the same works with the edge rings 
just shift and double click the edge. Same works with polygons. If you select the polygon right next to it, it will select the entire poly loop. If you select the polygon and skipping few in between, it will select in between. And the same works with vertices. If you have a mesh split into a few pieces like these spikes and you want to select just one spike you can either go to select one vertice and go to grow selection and grow and repeat it till everything is selected or you can just double click the same component and it will select the entire thing even with the faces just double click and it will select the entire polygon island the entire shell that's also really, really handy. Then with component selections, we have something called tweak mode. You can see that when I'm hovering over, it's highlighting the stuff which will probably be selected when you click. If I move it slightly outside, you can see that it's selecting like an outline. But when I cross certain threshold, it will just disappear. When you hold W for move or uh, E for rotate or R for scale and left click, there is something called tweak mode in here. I don't know why it's not in select because it works even with selection. But if you select the tweak mode in here, you can see that even if I'm super far from the model, it still pre-highlights the selection. So it's a bit more precise I would say it has a different function when you actually translate or rotate but I will talk about it later and probably the last thing in selecting components is the soft selection you can either turn that on in here or in here or just by simply pressing the B button and when you hold B and middle click and drag it will change the radius of the soft selection and there are many options which you can change the curve of the soft selection the one especially important is if it's calculated based on the volume or the surface area that actually means that if you are let's say in here it's selecting even the interior of the mouth because there is a volume around the vertex if you switch it to the surface it will avoid that area because it's just calculated by the distance from the vertex there is no like a bubble or a volume around it but there are so many options in there just give it a look there is one more really powerful tool for selecting components in Maya and I will make a separate video about it because it's a bit complicated to use the UI is not perfect and that's user constraints or polygon selection constraints as they call it see that this is not too complicated when once you jump into the component mode you have so so many options in there so that's a future video probably the next week and last thing i want to talk about are selection sets you can actually store selection so it either works with objects components whatever let's say i just want to reselect these objects when you go to when you either hold space and navigate through the hotbox or go to the menu and create sets and usually it's the best to create quick selection set and call it uh, set one it will create a set in here and what you can do is right click in the outliner and select set members and it will reselect these objects. You can see which objects were included or you can go to select and there is a quick select sets and just click this button. It even works with polygons. So just create sets. You can either create quick selection set, quick select set or just a set. It basically appears as the same thing in uh, Outliner, but it doesn't appear in here. You can see that there is just the set one. So I, I prefer just creating the quick select sets. 
because just because they appear in this menu it's faster to access them or just select them in here doesn't really matter it's up to your preference i would say so that's it guys that's all about selections as i said it's pretty vast topic and there are so many options how to select stuff in maya just browse all the possibilities by yourself just go through all the options you can see here just go through all the options in the marking menu especially in the control command right click marking menu because this is one of the most powerful ones or in the q and left mouse button and go to select everything in here so guys thank you very much for watching the video subscribe to the channel follow me on social media i'm making a video every week stay tuned for the next tips and see you soon